All right, welcome back uh, to Dance Masters Ballroom. Uh, we are uh, going to continue on with our virtual dance classes. This one is going to be on spins and turns. Um, we're just going to go through um, what helps you technically to do a turn well um, and balance. Balance is, of course, one of the most important aspects of a turn. Um, and then of course, and, well, and looking good. So balance and looking good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by doing a very simple swiveling action, okay? And again, any amount of, of turn does need the technique of good turns. So we're gonna start out with literally a quarter turn. All right, we're gonna do a quarter turn to the left. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Mimi do a lot of this stuff so that I can kind of talk about it. Um, so what she's gonna do is she's gonna take a forward walk with her left foot, okay? So she's gonna step forward with her left foot and then she's gonna swivel to the left, just a quarter turn, bring the right foot underneath the body. And then we're gonna swivel, good. Okay, so she's gonna do that again. So all right, so go ahead and face that way. So we have transfer the weight. So this is the first most important aspect of keeping your balance. And that is, is to make sure that you transfer your weight completely. So, so she has put her entire weight over her front foot. If she wanted to, she could pick up her back foot, which I'm gonna have her do. Go ahead and pick up your back foot. So she is completely over her foot, and that's super important with making sure that you stay balanced as you turn. So now what she's gonna do, and a quarter turn doesn't need very much momentum, but she is gonna produce, you have to always produce a little bit of momentum when you're doing a turn. So she's gonna produce momentum through the use of her body. And what she's gonna do is she's gonna use this side of her body and she's going to close it like a door. Now again, she doesn't need very much momentum with a quarter turn, but she still has to use this side of the body to go ahead and swivel, go ahead and create that action, okay? So quarter turns are the best way to practice making sure that you're doing things correct, okay? So the first thing we said was what? She's gonna transfer her weight completely, then she's gonna use her side to create momentum, all right? Now, a couple of other things that are really important, and she's doing an awesome job here. Number one is to make sure you're standing straight up and down, okay? If she faces the camera again, go ahead and face the camera. It's really easy to tilt your body one way or the other as you turn, especially when you're doing uh, larger amounts of turns. So for instance, if we were doing one or two, two turns, it makes, a lot of the times we tilt to try to get the turn finished. So we wanna make sure that we're standing straight up and down. And then the third thing is, is holding your core. And as you've noticed, when she was standing in her position, she was definitely held. So she has held her body, used the muscles to make sure her entire body is in control, okay? So again, she's gonna do it again. So she has walking forward with the left foot. She goes all the way over the foot. She's holding her core and she's standing up straight. And then she uses her body to create momentum and do a quarter turn, okay? Now, after you've done that over and over again, increase the amount of rotation. So we just go from doing the quarter turn, right? To then doing a half turn, and then more and more, okay? So you basically want to get it to the point where you're actually able to do a full, full rotation at least uh, on any of our turns, but all the same technique apply. Now, as we increase the amount of rotation, what do we need to increase? We need to increase the amount of momentum. You can't have the same momentum for each turn. So when I get to doing a full rotation, there are times when I need to actually create a prep and the prep goes the opposite direction. We still do the same, we still do the same technique as far as shutting the door, but basically I'm opening my body up so that I can create enough momentum to do the turn all the way around, okay? All right, so we're going to apply the technique that we were just doing as far as just a, a, a swiveling action. We're gonna apply that to salsa turns, all right? So we're gonna start out with the, the harder ones, which are the, the crossbody lead and the traveling turns. So Mimi's gonna be the one turning here. She's got this. So we're gonna do a crossbody lead with a left turn and then a crossbody lead with a right turn. On the left turn, she's going to be turning on six and seven, 
And then on the right turn, she's going to be turning on 5 and 7. So, again, what are the rules? We're going to transfer weight before we turn. We're going to hold our core, hold ourselves, and we're going to stand up straight. All right? So we have 1, 2, 3. She's going to step forward 5. She steps forward 6. She turns all the way around on 6. Then she steps forward on 7 and turns halfway around on 7. Beautiful. Okay, ready to step with her right foot again. One, two, three. Okay, so most people fall into the one. So most people let their momentum, again, the tool that helps us to do the turn can also hurt us sometimes if we do too much. So some people let their momentum uh, carry them into one and we need to pause before one. So we're gonna do it one more time. So we have one, two, three, five, six, and, seven, and, and one, two, three. That was beautiful, okay? Very good. Now we're gonna to turn to the right. So again, she turns on five, and she turns on seven. So we have one, two, three. So I've prepped her here. Again, most turns need a prep so that she can create momentum. She's gonna step forward on five, turn all the way around, forward on six with no turn, and then forward on seven and turn halfway around. And then we have one, two, three. We can do that again. So we have one, two, three. I've prepped her. She knows she's turning to the right. She steps forward five and steps forward six and then seven and and then one, two, three. And if anybody has taken this class with me before, did you see the sexy leg? It was awesome. We'll do it one more time. So we have one, two, three, a five and, six, seven and, check it out, one, two, three. Isn't it beautiful? Very nice. So those are salsa, crossbody lead, traveling turns, we created momentum with the prep. We're standing up straight. She's getting over her foot before she turns. So if she is getting over her foot before she turns, then actually, and I don't know if you noticed, I started counting the ands, because you don't turn on the beat, you actually turn in between the beats. So she's actually turning on six and, seven and, as well as to the right, five and, and seven and. So those are, so those are our salsa crossbody lead turns. All right, so we're now going to apply the turn technique to one of our basic patterns. It's the spot turn. Uh, the spot turn is easy, but we need to make sure that we're applying all the little details to it. Um, so that's why people usually mess up. It's because it is so easy. So what we're going to do is we're both going to do a spot turn. So we're going to do a side step. We're applying the spot turn as if we were doing it to like either cha-cha or rumba or mambo. So we're both gonna do a side step, so we do side. Now, what did I say? So we have the rules, right? Transfer weight, then turn. So what we're gonna both do at this point, we've taken our side step, we're going to swivel and rotate a quarter turn to the left. So we both stay on, I stay on my left, she stays on her right. We're just swiveling to face the back of the room. So the wall here, right? Now we're both, going to step forward. So we step forward towards the wall. Then we swivel a half a turn. Then we transfer our weight back to the front foot. So it's her right foot, my left foot. Transfer weight, again, make sure that we're all the way over the foot. Then we swivel again. And then we could do a side step if we wanted to, and we could repeat the entire process. So again, we're gonna go through that nice and slowly. We take a side step, side. We both swivel, quarter turn. Transfer weight, turn a half a turn. Transfer weight, turn a quarter turn. Transfer weight. And this would be the technique for every spot turn that you do if we do it in salsa. So we would have one, two, three. She's gonna step forward, five. She's going to swivel. 
then she's stepping forward, six, then she's gonna swivel, and then it's together, seven. Okay, we do that again. So we have one, two, three, she steps forward, five, swivels, steps forward, six, swivels, and then together, seven. Same kind of technique, so that's the spot turn.